Hey YouTube, man, look, I stopped worrying about this Mandela effect because the Bible's already said it was going to happen. You know, um, when Judas betrayed Jesus, he had to because he had to fulfill what the Bible already has stated. So what's going on right now with these effects, you know, God already said it was going to happen. I don't care who do it, if it's CERN, if it's some natural, it's got to happen. So I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures to break this down a little bit further. Daniel chapter 7. And he says, shall speak a great word against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change time and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of times. So, you know, this reminds me of Back to the Future. When, if you go in the past and you want to change the present, you do it in the past. Because who going to remember it if you change it when you come back, everything that you thought you knew what, it ain't going to be the same. And what the devil is doing is trying to, you know, equal the the playing field. You know how you have two basketball teams. We've been on God's court and in his protection so long. And the devil said, look, I want home court advantage. I want to change some stuff how I want to change it. So God say, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and let you do what you do. See what's going to happen. Just like he did Job. So he said, he gonna give it to him for a time and times. So he gonna have control over times. He gonna be able to divide time. Just like what it is now, we divide it. Some people that know our timeline know how it's supposed to be. And the people that was in the timeline that he changed, he they think it's the way it is now. So that causes division because he wants that. Because if he got that, you know, they can take our Bibles away because we divide it. And if you read Amos chapter 8, verse 11, Behold, the day come, said the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, no thirst. But of uh, the hearing the word of the Lord. And he that shall wander from sea to sea. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro seeking the word. And the of the Lord, I should not find it. So, because God has gave him authority, just like he had did with Job, you know, now the true word has been distorted because he's trying to perverse people's mind. But you know, God said, "What's done in the light, gonna uh, what's done in the dark comes to the light." So we can't be tricked, you know. You know, he said we not ignorant of the devil devices. He has many devices he using. He using time travel. He using changing symbols like sex in the city to sex and the city. He's changing movies like life was like a box of chocolate. You know, we know it says life is like a box of chocolate. But maybe, if you look at it in the context, maybe he is trying to give you a message. Yes, it was like a box of chocolate. You never knew what you was going to get. I mean, but now, I mean, now it's different because he got control. He knows what's going to happen because he's doing it. Uh, he said, if you're building it, he'll come. Yeah. They build, that's what the devil needed to make his stuff work. 
CERN done built just what he needed that time machine to mess us up. And so now we have to just stay vigilant, get the word out, um, just be conscious of what's going on and know that God is still under control. You know, it's just it's going to be a time. You know, this is not the end, but this is the beginning of the end. So I'm beginning to get comfort that God is giving me understanding that this got to happen. You know, I'm not afraid. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried. A real, real way of well doing. I know exactly what's happening. So, you know, subscribe and just, you know, let God do what he do.